Hello dear traders, my name is Tim and these are the main trading ideas for current trading session. First of all, let's discuss the situation with dollar index. The dollar index is consolidating near 101.30. Today will be a published date on inflation in the US, which may finally convince the Fed to complete the current cycle of tightening US monetary policy. For the dollar, such a scenario could cause a serious decline. In addition, on the side of uh, sellers of the dollar, the latest quarterly review of the US Federal Reserve, which uh, showed that in the first quarter, banks reported a decrease in demand for commercial and industrial loans to large and medium-sized companies. Uh, more than uh, 720 banks have an uh, unprofitable position that exceed half of capitalization, and some have reached 85% of capital which is a state of technical bankruptcy. The total outstanding position are estimated at $2.9 trillion. Given the growing recession risk in the US, the pressure on the dollar may intensify. Next, the EURUSD. The EURUSD pair is trading near 1.10. On the side of buyers of the European currency is the total rhetoric of officials of the European regulator. Thus, the head of the Central Bank of Netherlands, Klaus Knopf, said that the tightening of monetary policy in the Eurozone is working effectively, but officials need to continue the hawkish rhetoric to curb consumer price growth. A similar position was expressed by the chief economist of the ECB, Philip Lane, who noted that the regulator in the current conditions of rising inflation needs to raise the rate at every meeting this year. City analysts expected that the ECB had to raise rates twice uh, by 25 basis points in June and July. As a result, the K rate will reach 4.25%. Against this backdrop, the recovery of the euro may continue. And finally, gold. Uh, gold continues to consolidate near 2030. Market participants believe that after the release of today's inflation report in the US, gold may update the local maximum. The data is expected to increase the likelihood that the Fed will end its policy of high rates, which will deprive the dollar of fundamental support. Another factor in the growth of gold remains a global economic uncertainty, as well as the possibility of a recession in the United States, against the backdrop of a lack of a compromise on the government debt ceiling and the strengthening of the banking crisis. In addition, the market sentiment is on the side of buyers, indicating that 80% of traders are now shorting their metal. So these are the main trading ideas for now. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.